Hey everyone, it's uh, it's that time of year again. It's my anniversary and we are at six long, long years now. Um, so, I've done this uh, for a few years now. I did this for the three year anniversary, I did it with the four year, and I did it with the five year. And I'm kind of changing it up a little bit this year, not because I don't think it's working, but because I want it to work better. Um, something can work and it can still not be optimized. So I took some notes. I came up with some ideas. In the past, what would happen was... Actually, I might be able to... No, I'm going to pull it off. In the past, what would happen was I would make a big long list similar to the total donation goals here where it would be like, at this amount, we'll get this, and at this amount, we'll get this, and at this amount, we'll get this, which is all fun and, well, and it works to an extent, but... It's difficult for me to, because basically what happens when I come up with these is I'm like, hey, this would be a cool idea, and then I think of how much it should like have to be reached to do that. But that doesn't quite work out that well, because last year I did um, a poll to see which Final Fantasy game I played, and I also uh, put, I just randomly threw on there, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time playthrough. And both of those I put at like different amounts, but people didn't really seem to be that into them. There are definitely some people who want more, uh, and they'll continue, you know, should people ask for it. But it wasn't something that everyone wanted. So it, it felt kind of weird just, like, arbitrarily throw it in the middle. So what I've done this year is you basically you choose which ones you unlock first. Uh, we'll get to those ones in a second, but that's the biggest difference so far. The second biggest difference is that there's two anniversary streams this year. <laughs> And be like, Nick, why would you do that? And I'll be like, because I'm stupid. Um, no. Someone, I mean, it's something I can do because I have a lot of free time right now. Um, uh, but basically, I realized, oh, I did that wrong. I realized that my uh, anniversary stream, because I always do it on the 17th, which is when I created my YouTube channel, or I think when I released the first video, one of those two. Um, but... I realized that this year, Tuesday, the 17th, it's a Tuesday, so not everyone's going to be able to make that. I don't want, you know, people to miss it because it's not a fucking Tuesday. Uh, so I'll also be having an anniversary stream on the 15th. Uh, exactly what I'm going to play in the anniversary stream, I don't know yet, to be honest. Uh, I think I had it planned out last year, um, but this year I want to kind of keep it uh, limber and stuff. Probably we'll play different games on the different days. Uh, it's just, but, so, you know, it might be different stuff. I, I'll probably, I might talk about it at some point, but I might just keep it a secret. I don't know. Um, it'll definitely be games that are, like, important to the channel. There'll obviously be some Digimon, there'll be some Yu-Gi-Oh, there'll be some, like, fucking dick-punching shit that I hate and you guys love to see because you're sadists. Um, but yeah, but beyond that, uh, the entire month of July... I'm going to be playing all sorts of videos, or all sorts of games that I've already played, or, um, yeah, basically that. So, like, for instance, uh, tomorrow will be a Digimon World 1 video, just where it all started. So, like, and then the next day will be Luigi's Mansion, which is the second game I played, and so on. It won't be, like, exactly lined up, like, there's some games I'm going to skip over, there's some that uh, I played later that I might swap in. It's all about scheduling. I have it all written down on my calendar. Um... And I could reveal that if people want it. Uh, I think it might be more interesting to see it as like a surprise, or if it's like if you know the channel, you'd be like, "Oh, then this game's gonna surely be coming up soon." Um, and it's also, you know, it's 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 a work in progress. I might not stick to it. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but let's get down to brass tacks. So first of all, uh, the biggest thing here too is that uh, I want to make chance. There's, I did something last year which was. Um, I had gave three different chances for me to do five videos in a game, and I quickly realized that was too much, and it was just a little, a little too, uh, a little too much dedication to it. So I'm scaling it back this year. I'm only going to do one video or stream, depending on how I feel about it, uh, for an hour. But the difference is that I've op opened up more opportunities for it. So there's going to be a bunch more different games. Um, and more different, more people can win basically. So, uh, yeah. So the first one, it's free. Uh, just leave a message in the special discord tab, which I have started here. Uh, basically type one message saying your YouTube Twitch name. If it's different than your discord name, 
uh, how you found Wrath of Zalus, how your favorite videos and streams, your least favorite videos and streams, and a favorite moment if you have it. And then, you know, at the end of the month, I'll pick all the people who put a message in there, only one message and only that message, and um, yeah, randomly choose one, and uh, I'll announce all of these on like a special video at the end of um, the month. But this lasts all through July, so you have plenty of time. Basically, it's very obviously, it's an attempt to get people to join the Discord, and it's a chance to give, like, a free option for someone, because I, you know, a lot of this is about money, and I don't necessarily want that to be the whole focus. Um, don't get me wrong, it should be a focus, but not, like, the entire scope, if that makes sense. So, that's an easy one, just join the Discord, link to it in the description. Um, next one, this is one of the ones I kept from last year, just donate during the month of July. Uh, I'll be able to track on Streamlabs and hopefully try and get some my mods to help me out and keep like a Google Doc going of all the different people who donate. Um, and at the end of the month, I'll throw it into the fucking spinthewheel.com and we'll figure out who we can um, who we can get in there. So that's an easy one. Uh, next one, just be a sub on Twitch. Um, I've been doing a lot more with Twitch this year. Uh, I became an affiliate, so uh, yeah, use that Twitch Prime this month if you want to. Um, or just be a regular Twitch sub and yeah, totally, let's do it uh, same deal, I did this one last year too just become a patron can be as low as a dollar a month very obviously it's just me, to t me attempting to get more patrons um, if, you, if you're like hey, you know what, a dollar a month maybe it's not that bad, maybe just leave it maybe just, you know, do it for the month of July I will say this, if you want a chance to win these um, I, I'm pretty sure the subbing on Twitch and the Patreon ones are probably going to be some of the lower ones. Like, if I remember correctly, last year, through Patreon, I want to say it was like 12 to 16 people total. And to put that in perspective, it was like 40 for the donate during um, the month of July thing. So you, your odds are much better. And it costs the same. So, I mean, you do have to sign up for Patreon. But, just saying. Um, and then donate during the anniversary streams. So, that's two chances. Uh, I did this last year as well. But it's different because there's two different days this time. So one person is going to win on the 15th and one person is going to win on the 17th. Um, and then there's the secret donation, which if you've been watching some of my recent streams, uh, I came up with a new idea slash stole. Um, of I'm going to hide a random dollar amount between $1 and $5. Last time it was $2.67. And but you have basically 500 chances to guess because it's um, or not even it's really like 400 because it doesn't start until one dollar, so it's like a dollar, a dollar or one, a dollar or two, all the way up to 4.99 and then five dollars. Uh, I can tell you this probably not going to be a dollar, probably not going to be five dollars. It's probably going to be somewhere in the middle. Um, but basically, you guess the secret amount and then uh, you get to I'll play whatever game. So for instance, uh, Sir Eniac won that. He won it um, not the last stream, or, but the stream before. Um, and today I'm going to be playing Ace Attorney, because that's the game, uh, he chose, or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, I'm going to play that today, and you can see it. It's, it's literally that easy. Um, I will say that the secret donation's a little, if you pay attention to it, probably easier to get than, say, randomly getting one of these other ones where I'm just picking at random. Uh, this one's a little bit more in your control. Obviously, it's not, like... It's, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. It might cost a little bit more. But all of this still goes towards the total donation goals here. So don't feel like it's just wasted. Also, uh, for the secret donation one, uh, when you do that, and just and also for like when you do a random donation, you can put it towards one of these. Uh, so it's not quite wasted. It's more of like, even if you don't get that, you can still put it towards something. Uh, and then these two, uh, these are just, I would feel bad if I didn't. Um, celebrate these, which is the highest donation of the month. So that's like, let's say someone drops like 50 bucks during a, a stream and no one else uh, donates anything higher, then that person would have the highest donation of the month. And then there's the highest total donations of the month. So let's say someone's really trying for like the secret donation. They're like, uh, they're donating like 267. Uh, and then they're like 101, 102, 103. And it just adds up. And let's say they get to like, Fifty-two dollars or something like that, and like seventy-six cents. Um, then they would have the highest total donations, and they would also win a chance. I'm kind of iffy with these ones because I think I'm not. I'm not iffy. They're definite, but I'm more of like all of these are uh, one per person. 
So let's say you win one of the donations during the anniversary stream, then you're no longer allowed to, you know, win the Patreon or the Twitch or the during the month of July or the Discord one. But I think I'm going to leave these two open. So even if you did win one of the other two, because I just because I, that's just something I can't change. Like if you're the highest donator, it's you're still the highest donator. I I guess no. You know what? I changed my mind right in the video. I it's still one per person. But if you know, say no. Damn, this is hard. All right, definitive thing. If there's a chance you can get two two games if you get one of these two. Only because I feel like I really need to reward these two because that's way too generous, and I wouldn't want to like skimp it. So these are the only two that you can possibly win to. That being said, the rest are still by chance or like the secret donation. So it's, the chances of you actually winning two are very low. All right, moving on. So this is more traditional. Uh, it's not as filled out as it, as it looks. Um, basically, I'm following something I did last year, which was after we hit certain amounts, then. I'll do one str I'll do one stream and depending on how what amounts we hit that stream will be so and so long. So like for instance, uh last month I did a 12 hour stream because last year we hit the 12 hour stream mark. So let's say we only get 200. Then we'll do I'll do a 4 hour stream, which isn't that weird. I do 4 hour streams from time to time. Let's say we hit 400, then I'll do a 6 hour stream. Again, not that weird, a little bit more rare than 4 hours. I've probably only done like a handful of 6 hour streams. At 500, I'll turn the webcam, my webcam on during the anniversary streams, because that's something people want. I don't want to do it quite necessarily, but I'll do it, whatever. I mean, if, if, if it's earned. Uh, Eight-hour stream at 600. At 666, I'll play Digimon World 2 for one part. That's an ongoing joke from the three-year, four-year, five-year uh, anniversaries. Naturally, I have to keep it in. Um, uh, at 800, 10-hour, 1,000, 12-hour, and then it starts getting a little more wonky, 1250, 16 hour, 1500, 20 hour, 2000, 24 hour stream. I'm going to level with you. I don't think we're going to get that one. Um, I just put it there as like a, you know, a ceiling that we know that we won't quite reach, but it would felt, it felt unfair to not put it there. I think last year I had it at 1500 instead of 2000, but things changed. Um, after doing a 12 hour stream and seeing how, how daunting it was for a 12 or 24 hour stream, like, ugh. I've only done one or two of them with Extra Life, and that was with Spencer. So I'd be doing these by myself, and man, it's got to be earned. Let's just say that it's it takes a fucking toll. Um, so, uh, and then at you know at thirteen thirty four, Digimon World Four parts, another meme and joke. So there you go. Uh, these are total. So this is like everything that's added up from all all of these. Um, that's what total means. So you can always find that right at the top, and uh, yeah. So we'll see how those go. Next up, this is the thing that's different this year. Normally, I would have like thrown these in, like and like in with the total donation goals. But I want people to be able to choose what they pick this time. Choose what they pick. Great, good job, Nick. So, first one up, we're gonna go from most expensive to least. Uh, is uh, a Digimob public server. So, for those who don't know, I've done a few videos in them, but it, Digimobs is a Digimon mod for Minecraft. Uh, you can kind of see the models here, where basically just Digimon are roaming around the world of Minecraft. Um, and Minecraft, if you didn't know, is a multiplayer game. So you can set up a server, and then people could log in, and then we'd be able to play in the same world as each other. And, you know, it'd be I think it'd be really interesting to build upon it and just, like, you know, slowly build, like, you know, weird cities or enclaves or villages. And also have the opportunity to raise Digimon and stuff like that and battle them and stuff in the in the game i think that would be a really cool idea i think it would take a ridiculous amount of setup uh which is why it's the highest goal um it would also take some maintenance and i'd also have to try and convince some of the mods to moderate the server um and i'd also probably have to mod it myself a little bit so by moderate i mean like make sure nobody goofs off or does something stupid but um yeah so this is um the highest goal we'll see if, so for instance it let's say you're going for the secret donation you're like uh one dollar and two cents and you you would then say in your donation message um i'd like to put this towards uh the digimon public server or i'd like to put this towards bloodborne etc so you choose what you're putting it towards uh in each donation message if you don't um i'm gonna if i if I catch it, if I realize you didn't put anything in the message, I'll ask if it's during a stream. 
Um, and if it's, uh, if you, so like, I'll try and catch it, but it's the, it's really on you. Like if I, if I see it and I notice you didn't mention where you want to, where you want to put it towards, then I'll try and ask you. But if I don't catch it, then I don't catch it. And it kind of just goes nowhere. So be very, very, very sure to put those in your donation messages. Um, and also just in general, uh, you don't have to donate during a stream. I know people, uh, some people don't always catch the streams because they're working in life and whatnot, but they'll watch the uploads at their own pace later. I'm the same way. I very rarely watch Twitch live streams. I'll watch tons of um, uploads of them. Uh, you can still donate. Just leave a comment on whatever video you're watching or whatever, or not even if you're just like randomly donating. You can, as long as you, you can still put the message, it just won't show up in a video. Um, but if you do leave the comment on a video, then and saying like, "Hey, I donated this much," or you don't even have to say this much. You can just say, "Hey, I donated," and then I'll add it to this list. I'll put it towards whatever you want, and I'll play the alert at the beginning of the next stream, so you don't miss out. I want to make this very clear. Like, I know that I'm a YouTube channel first, and um, I want to do my due diligence and make sure that everyone gets the recognition. So, that being said, next up, Bloodborne playthrough. I've it's pretty simple. Hit the goal. I'll do a playthrough of Bloodborne. I don't want to. I'll probably rage like a big baby. And there's also, uh, I'll, I have a webcam now, so I'll turn the webcam on because that'll be so great. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's the next one. Next one, buy a Nintendo Switch. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. <clears throat> Very obviously, I benefit far more from this than you guys do. I'm not like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it would be really good for the channel if uh, I go to Switch. I mean, obviously, it would be good. Um, like it would open up a lot of games I'd be able to play and stuff like that, and it would make this, it would make us buying a switch from this like this would be tax writable, um, which would save me some money come tax season. But um, yeah, it's like, I mean, it opens up some doors. I currently can't afford it myself. I'll be honest. Um, so if you want to, if you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't really care about Bloodborne, I don't care about Digimobs, um, and the other donation goals I wanted are there. Maybe throw it towards, towards that. I don't know. Like. I'm throwing it on there. Someone suggested it in, uh, when I was spitballing ideas, and I was like, fine, let's put it there. I don't, I'm not pushing for this one, but I'm like, you know, very obviously, it this one benefits me a lot more than anyone else. Um, but that being said, to be able to play games like Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Octopath, I would make a very, very big effort to play as many Switch games as I could, um, just because I would feel incredibly guilty if I didn't. Like, it would eat at me. Uh, this one will interest more people, I think. So, bi-monthly Digimon guarantee. Basically, two Digimon videos a month guaranteed. That's the limp. That's the lowest. Like, it doesn't mean I'm gonna... It's like, if I hit this, then I will never do more than two videos a month. It just means, like, no matter what, you'll get two videos a month from Digimon. What Digimon game? I don't know. But you'll get at least two. I know I've strayed from this a little bit, um, and I've played less Digimon lately. It's because I get burned out, uh, to be perfectly honest. I love Digimon, but... You keep playing the same thing and eventually get fucking sick of it. So, um, I think two a month is a good compromise. Uh, but that being said, I gotta see if this is what people want. So, I'll throw that there. This is an interesting one. I also did this wrong. Um, that I hope people don't pick, to be honest. <laughs> Which I know by saying I hope they don't pick it, people are going to pick it. But, um, I'm currently doing a fi Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke um, run through. And one of the stipulations is that. It, in Nuzlocke is that if your Pokemon dies in battle, then it's dead permanently. So, like, you have to go and, you know, release it, or in my case, just throw it in, like, the graveyard Pokemon box, and you can't use them again for that playthrough. Uh, and you can only catch one Pokemon per new area, so it's like you're very limited, and you have to be very careful. I came up with a workaround, sort of, which is that if I have, I can sacrifice five Pokemon to revive a dead Pokemon once. Um, so, for instance, not to spoil anything, it's it's happened. <laughs> I've had to do it twice, I think. Uh, so that's a total of 10 dead Pokemon to raise two live ones. Now, some people don't quite like this idea because they think it ruins the integrity of Nuzlocke. Um, I can sort of agree with you. Um, so to like completely reverse this, if you donate towards this one, uh, not only can I, no, can I no longer do the sacrifice to bring them back, at the end of each video, I have to kill a Pokemon. Um, like I have to just say this Pokemon is now dead. It's it's sacrificed So it's like if you thought there wasn't enough death this will turn it up to like 11 and this will just last until the rest of the playthrough so uh, 
I would donate to this one. If you wanted this one, I would do it sooner. I th Actually, when do I have Pokemon Nuzlocke scheduled? Um, I have it on the 10th. So, if you donate before the 10th, then it would start um, before then. If not, then it would start then. If you want this, if you think that it's like, no, I mean, you should probably keep the rule because it might become unplayable and you might not finish the run if you do it otherwise, which I agree with, um, then you don't have to. Uh, these are tiny ones. I didn't put very much effort into these ones. Uh, they're all fifty dollars. Um, just they're a little quick, like bam, bam, bam. Uh, Digimon digital card battle stream. I know some people wanted this. Sean, um, there you go. There's your opportunity. Digimon racing, just a one-off. Uh, Fortnite with chats uh, and a stream. Modded Skyrim. Uh, I could try like once. Uh, I like Skyrim, but I just don't know if there's a like, huge demand for it. That's why I threw it down here. We can get Carlos to stream. If I put it any more than fifty dollars, he would ask. He would probably ask to be paid as well. So I had to put this down low. I'll force him to stream. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then League of Legends. That's a free game, right? Technically. I've never played it, and I don't want to. But, I mean, if people wanted to see it, there it is. Uh, and that is almost everything. Uh, i got to put this here somewhere. Um, I couldn't figure out a good place to put this. But, um, let's do under here. Um, I did forget. Not forget, but... So this has been an ongoing thing. Um, but if I get... 20 concurrent twitch subs um so like for instance right now i have 14 um if i get 20 twitch subs at the same time and only as long as i have that those 20 twitch subs so you better be sure to resub i'll start playing dark souls 3 um so i'll i'll try and figure this i'll try and fit this one in later uh and i'll edit it in but this is this has been an ongoing thing i just want to like make a reminder that if you needed more i'll maybe put it up top with the other twitch sub thing if you needed more incentive um, to sub on Twitch, to use that Twitch Prime or whatever. Um, definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely do that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to think of too many things at once. So, yeah, Dark Souls 3, I'll do a playthrough, uh, as long as I have 20 Twitch subs. If it falls to 19 and I'm, like, part of the way through, then I'm gonna stop because I don't want to play it. Unless I do want to play it. Unless I, like, weirdly enjoy the game, which I don't think I will. Um, but yeah, that's more or less it. One little stipulation here. If you're going for the secret donation, I would definitely only do that during a stream just because it might get difficult unless you're like, unless you're convinced, you know what it is. Like if, if, um, or not, you know what? No, even then only during streams, I'll, that's the only one I'm going to limit. Um, because it gets kind of difficult to decide who, uh, got it first. And then there's also, you know, let's say if someone does it at like mid in, at like midnight, someone's just like, oh, I found it, and they donate that amount, and then like someone else donates it at like two a.m. Then I'm like, well, what do I do? Because I had I didn't announce that someone hit it, so it's like they donated for no reason. I don't want to I don't want to feel guilty for something like that. So let's try and keep that one to streams where it's like all oh, everyone can see everything that's happening. Um, but for the rest, you know, pretty easy. Leave a message in the Discord tab. No one has done it yet. Um, uh, donate during the month of July. Uh, so anyone, anytime you donate, that's probably this is probably gonna be the biggest one. Uh, sub on Twitch, easy. Become a patron, easy. Uh, I should say for patron, uh, it's gonna go through. Uh, it's for become a patron for the month of July. So it won't. I won't be able to draw this one until like August, like fifth, um, because that'll be when um, all that stuff goes through. And then donate during the anniversary streams. That will be a little bit smaller, but it's just like just during the 15th and the 17th, two different chances. Secret donation, I don't know the amount yet. Uh, so we'll, I'll have that ready by the next stream. Um, highest donation of the month, and then highest total donations. And then all of this stuff. So yeah, uh, again, don't have to be, doesn't have to be during a stream. Uh, you can do it whenever. Um, doesn't have to be, uh, it can be during a stream, but yeah. That's, uh, that's me. That's what this month is about. Uh, and just, I'll, just a preface. Anything you donate to me, I'm incredibly grateful for. Um, like, it's been a little rough. I, uh, got laid off back in April, so it's been three months exactly now. Um, and I have been, I've been on unemployment. I had to get my car fixed for $2,400. Um, I recently just got a job in China that starts in a few months um, that I'm going to have to pay for a plane ticket out there to get to there, and then they'll reimburse me like a few months later. 
Uh, not to mention moving into a new apartment and like I can't really ship everything I own here to China. So I'm going to have to buy some new stuff. Um, basically just helping with the move. And then also, um, what's the other thing I had to do? I'm also uh, going to try and go back to school to get, like finish my classes. So that being said, I ha I'm going to be a little bit busy. I'm going to make every goddamn effort in the world to make sure that um, I do my due diligence and I get as much YouTube as I can. But if I do miss like a day or something, I'm going to try and make a video every day this month um, or a stream. But if I miss a day, please bear in mind, please be patient. I'm not, I don't want to try to do it. It's just very much life is getting in the way. Um, and yeah, I'm incredibly grateful for everything, everything you guys give. If you give nothing and you just watch the videos and the streams, that's also more than enough. Like just the fact that you're here is the reason I can do this at all. So don't ever feel like, oh, I can't, you know, money's tight. I can't do this. I'm like, I completely understand. I mean, you're preaching to the goddamn choir. Um, but if you can, it's very appreciated as well. I'm just happy you guys like my stuff. So thank you guys. And I hope to see you more this month. Also, Ace Attorney out today. Double video today. So thank you. And I'll see you all later. Oh, also, you can find the link to this um, in the description as well. Uh, and it'll be in the description of every video for the next month, I think. Um, and, uh, shit, there was something else, too. And then if, if you have any questions, leave a comment as well, just so I can get to them. Thank you, and goodbye.